Good afternoon, it's Simon at Vanstain Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2016 on a 16 plate uh, Volkswagen Caddy 2 litre TDI Caddy Maxi long wheelbase. Uh, no guesses for who's had this out on, uh, on lease. It is a ex British gas van. Uh, it has covered just 36,000 miles. It's a really, really nice mile for a British gas caddy van. Uh, and also it's Euro 6, so uh, it is ULEZ LEZ zone and the clean air emission zones compliant. Uh, also worth noting, 2 litre TDI engine. Uh, we are a Pendle Performance Remap agent, so this engine we can actually remap up to 190 brake horsepower, should you wish. A standard, they do come with a 70 mile an hour speed limiter fitted. Uh, we will, free of charge, get that removed um, before it goes out the door, if you want it removed, some people don't, they want to, yeah, they don't want it, uh, basically, or do want it, and it helps keep the fuel bills down for your employees, etc. So let us know from that point of view. Now, the purpose of these videos is to give you a warts and all video walk around of the vehicle. So we do point out all of the bad bits as well as the good bits. It makes you, lets you make a informed decision whether this is the van for you or not. The vast majority of our customers will buy off this video and leave a deposit and come and collect or come and uh, or get the vehicle delivered to them. So that's worth thinking about as well. So we're going to start up here on the roof. Uh, roofs are pretty straight on them, to be fair. They don't have roof racks on or anything like that. All the British gas caddy vans get these little, uh, little um, aerial things on them. Uh, and then the very latest Euro 6 ones now get the uh, uh, roof vent on the back as well. Uh, you also get a vent on the side door as well. The um, windscreen is in good condition. There are no major stone chips or cracks that are going to cause either of us any grief. Coming down onto the bonnet, again, bonnet is in good all-round condition. Uh, no major stone chipping. The front end of the van, your front grills, etc. are all in good order as well. Front passenger side headlamp unit, all good. Front passenger side bumper has a minor scrape, as you can see in this area here. Um, I'm about uh, half a meter away from the vehicle at the moment. Move back by a couple of meters, it doesn't really stand out, does it? So it is there. Um, I don't think it's anything to worry about, to be quite frank with you. Looking down the side profile of the van from this angle, hopefully you can see there are no major dents or dings to point out to you. It is very, very straight and tidy down the side. Driver's side head headlamp unit is all good and driver's side front bumper corner again in good condition as well. Again looking down the side profile of the van from this angle, no major dents or dings, all very good. There's your vent in the side door. Uh, these things make great base vehicles for uh, a little mini camp conversion, we're selling quite a few of them nowadays for that. Um, so the vents actually uh, work out quite well from that point of view. Driver's side wing as you can see is in good order, your side repeater is where it should be. We have factory steel wheels. We have fitted a set of non-factory hubcaps, although they are Volkswagen branded. It does have Michelin cross climate tires. These are an all round uh, winter tire. Um, reason it's cross climate is you can keep them all year round um, and they're better in the wet and the cold weather than a standard tire. Um, driver's side mirror unit and mirrors are all in good order. Your driver's side um, door glass is in good order. If I stand back, have a look at your alignment of your panels. Everything aligns up to how you would expect it to. Driver's side door in good order. Your driver's side door lock and handles all good. A little bit of a touch in there on the door. No big deal. Again, we'll get a little touch in sorted out on it. Um, driver's side sill, getting down low, looking at it. That's all looking good. Sliding door on this side. All in good order as well. If I open up, so obviously we've got a sliding door this side. So it's a twin side loading door Caddy Max here, okay? And now the British gas racking in the back of it. Yeah, if it's not for you, let us know. We can remove it for you. That's not a problem at all. Uh, your entry sills and plastics are in good condition. You do have the factory plastic bulkhead still in position. Rear quarter, driver side. Again, in all round good condition. And the lower quarter, again, that is in good order. Factory steel, non-factory hubcap, Michelin Pilot, uh, sorry, Michelin Cross Climate tire on there as well. And again, plenty of tire tread depth on there. Where we are with tire tread depths, anything less than three millimeters re-replaced, the legal limit being 
1.6 millimeters. Looking down the side of the vehicle from this angle, hopefully you can see there's a nice mirror finish to the paintwork. It's not flat or anything like that. We do prep them properly. Your rear light unit this side, that's in good order. Rear bumper corner this side, not too bad. You've got a couple of the rear bumper does have a couple of marks on it. Oh, that's dirt, okay. So uh, uh, that is actually dirt. So that's gonna come off. So yeah, that's us not doing it. So we'll get that cleaned off. Your rear reflector on this side, that's good. If I come around to the back of the vehicle, you've got your 60, 40 split on your rear doors. The rear bumper does have some wear and tear marks on it. It looks worse on the iPhone camera than it does in real life. To be quite frankly, I don't think a rear bumper is massive money if you wanted to mint it up. Up to you. Do have these security locks fitted. High level brake lights, all good. Opening up the back of the vehicle. And again, full of British gas racking that is probably no use to man or beast other than British gas. Uh, if you don't want it, let us know. We'll remove it for you. Uh, there's a set of electronic scales in there. Might be good if you do need a little bit of uh, street use on the uh, drug dealing front, maybe, but for anything else. Uh, oh, and of course, if you're British gas, that might be helpful as well. Uh, internal doors, all looking good. These little hooks and stuff. Wear and tear on the inside of the internal doors. I can't deny that. Again, it depends what you're doing with it. It could all be smart repaired and painted. Um, or if you're converting into a van, you're going to carpet line, uh, though converting into a camper van, you're going to carpet line those anyway. Um, so yeah, it's down to what you're going to use it for. Rear light units, again, all good. Again, looking down the passenger side of the vehicle from this angle, all looking very neat and tidy. Bumper corner, this side's all good. Rear reflector and the bumper's all good. Uh, the British gas vans all have this anti-miss uh, fuel device fitted to it. And then your upper quarter, that's looking good. And the lower quarter, that's all looking good as well. Factory steel wheel, non-factory hubcap, another Michelin cross climate tyre, another one with loads of tyre tread depth on it. Sliding door rails, all looking good. Sliding door on this side, again, all looking neat and tidy. Get down low, check out your sills. There's no major damage on your sills. And your passenger front door, that's all looking good. Passenger door glass is looking good. Door handles, again, all looking good. A couple of minor little, oh no, it's a bit of British gas wrap. So we'll get that cleaned off. That is a touch in on that one, to be fair. So obviously with the vans, some of them are half wrapped, aren't they, with British gas. A mirror units all looking good, nice and secure, in good order. And your passenger side front wing is all looking good as well. Again, another factory steel wheel, non-factory hubcap and a Michelin cross climate tire on there as well um right so we have just noticed a couple of things we have a little minor little ding there can't really see it not broken any paint but there is a little bit of something there on the back doors there was a couple of bits wasn't there this little bit here uh we're gonna have to do something with that so whether we touch it in or whether we get it smart repaired and this bit here if they've got plastic covers on the rear windows, it's gouged the plastic cover, which is slightly annoying, but we'll get it touched in for you. So that would be less um, obvious. Uh, and again, it's a personal preference whether you keep those plastic covers on or whether you remove them and have the glass. There's, there's so many variables you can do with these things, aren't there? Um, sliding door, internal um, sills and plastic steps all looking good. There's a little vault in there. But again, the vast majority of our customers end up taking all of that out of the van. Uh, passenger door, door card, all looking neat and tidy. Your entry seals and plastics on this side are good. Uh, the rubber flooring inside, um, yeah, going to need a clean and it's just going to need dressing up a little bit. And the seats, again, in actual fact, to be fair, um, the iPhone camera. Can you hear my stomach? Oh, my God. I do apologise. I've not had any lunch today. Um, the uh oh i digress i digress um yeah could do the wet vac seats that's the words i'm looking for wet vac um so they actually don't look that bad if you don't put an iphone camera on them as soon as you put an iphone camera on them they look dirty handbook packs in there oh any instructions for your scales look they're in there as well headlining all looking good this is all uh, just additional storage stuff if you don't want it, it can be taken off got passenger airbags uh, and you've got side airbags as well 
and then driver's side driver's side door card again neat and tidy entry sills all looking good rubber flooring in here again could do the uh, clean and a better a better dress um your driver's side seat again a wet vac would do it the world of good they do get a little bit of sag on the seats it's the old um a uh, fact that uh, even Volkswagen nowadays get an accountant involved and change to slightly cheaper seat trim than they may have used in the past. Side lights, main lights, headlamp levelers, dashboard illumination. Turn the vehicle on, 36,902 miles. Fires up nicely. Um, the steering wheel is in good overall condition. It's still got most of the factory texture on the steering wheel. Horns in the middle there. Wipers are on this side. Your two buttons on the end here run you through. Uh, don't run you through your computer system. Yeah, it does run you through your computer system. It's obviously doing something somewhere. Oh, it's because I've got the door open. So, ignore that. Uh, and then uh, wipers uh, and lights are on this side. We have air conditioning in the vehicle as well. We have hazard warning lights up here. This is a nice DAB FM AM stereo unit with Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. Now the vehicle does have factory reverse parking sensors. So when you engage reverse gear, it does bring up the park pilot display on your stereo unit as well. Five speed manual gearbox, stop start technology, USB power and 12 volt power down here as well. Cup holders, etc. Looking all good. And there we are. Um, that's about it really, I think. Electric heated mirrors, have I mentioned those? So there are 60 to 70 photos of this van on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the center of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. Feel free to give us a call on 01905 672 080 or email us at sales at vanstoday.com. Um, this is obviously, remember, the later 2-litre TDI with only 36,000 miles, one keeper from you. Uh, if you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. We have reviews on Google, Facebook, LinkedIn and Instagram. And I think that's about it as far as my involvement with social medias are concerned. Um, there we go. There's about 30 minutes of your life you're never going to get back. But hopefully, if you are interested in this van, it's given you an honest description of exactly what it's like. Uh, if we can be of any further help, um, give us a shout. Thanks for looking and speak to you later.